Hello, my name is Daniel. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show, well, I'm going to talk about two things, about text and about uh, fonts that you can apply on the text. So first off, uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, uh, first let me just do what I do, self that uh, count equal to 10, and you'll see why I'm doing this right now in a moment. And then, um, you're going to create the uh, text. So self.text equals uh, 3x uh, static uh, text. And what it's going to take in, if we look at the documentation, is you know the same thing as mostly all the other widgets that we've seen so far. And so we pass in self, we pass in um, the ID. We, we don't have to pass in the ID, but if we want, we can just put negative 1 to tell it to just create a random ID and then the next one is going to be the label basically the text um, the text is going to be let's just oops let's just put a zero and uh, yeah that should be good <clears throat> and uh, oh I forgot the position where we want to put this let's just put it a um, uh, hundred a hundred I have no idea where that's at but uh, we'll see right now uh, let's see what else okay um, let's apply the font so we'll create the font self dot font equals wx dot font <coughs> oops and this one is actually different from all the rest because see here see all the things that it takes it takes in the point size it takes in the type of family the style the weight and these other ones that we won't be going over so we'll just mostly focus on uh, on these uh, four arguments so the first one was a uh, the size so we're gonna use the self dot count so it's gonna start off at 10 and then we're gonna what was the other thing that I needed um, what was it um, family family so wx dot font uh, family uh, let's go with default and then wx dot font uh, no style it was style style normal wx dot font um, wait was it yeah wait so I'm just gonna leave everything normal you guys can mess around with the with the values to see what each one produces all right so after we create the font we have to t tell the text to use that font so what we how we do that is self dot text dot set font and then we just pass in the font object like that. Now, if you run it, oops, it has no attribute counts. Where did I screw up? Ah, right here. There you go. So now, if I run it, ah, look at that. The text is right there. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. Let me move it. Um, let's just put a uh, 150 and 50. Hopefully, that's out of the way. Now, if you guys saw it, it was pretty darn small. So what I'm gonna do is, whenever the uh, user clicks a button, the font is going to increase by, uh, I don't know, by uh, 10. Yeah, let's go with 10. So first off, since we already have our buttons, uh, handlers right here, that listen whenever the button is pressed, all we have to do is just uh, write whatever we want inside this method. So yeah, so let's do that. So first off, we're gonna increase the count. We're going to increase it by 10. And then after that, we are going to create a new font object. Self.font uh, equals wx.font self.count. So why don't I just copy this? And voila. Copy and paste. Um, let's see. After that, oh, the next thing we got to do is set the, is set the font. Set font um, and then we pass in the font object. Alright, after that, we're gonna include a new method called self refresh. And what this does is basically it says, Hey, um, something has changed inside the window. I needed you to redraw everything basically all over again. So if you read the description, it says it marks, the, it, marks it as a dirty so that it can be repainted. So basically redraws it and we need that because the font is increasing every single time 
So we're gonna tell it, hey, redraw the font. Because if you don't do that, some weird stuff can happen. Uh, for example, uh, the font, I mean the text can just disappear or whatever. Uh, just random stuff if you don't put that, or if you're not aware of that. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense. So I'm gonna run the program and then I'm gonna explain it again. So let's see, so let's run it. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see it, but the but the text is right there. And whenever, and it should increase whenever I press this button or this button, doesn't matter which one. So, oh, it increased. Oh, it increased again. Look at that. It keeps on increasing. See, increasing. Bam. Look at that, OX. Oh, uh, one quick thing that I should mention that is not related to this is uh, if you guys have been following along, you guys might see that this place, this uh, bar right here, the title bar, it sometimes comes out as black and sometimes comes out as whitish slash grayish. The reason for that is because I'm using GNOME and I told GNOME to use the dark theme, but for some reason, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I don't know why it does that, it just, eh, I haven't really bothered figuring out why it happens, but yeah. So, uh, and to prove this is you guys, if you guys have been following the other videos, or sometimes they'll show up as gray, whitish, sometimes they'll just show up like this, black. But yeah, just a quick side note so that you're not doing anything wrong or something. It's just no acting weird. Alright, so yeah, there you go. Increasing font. Yeah, so that's basically it. You create a font object. You set the font to increase whenever you press the button. You tell it to repaint itself because the font has changed. And uh, let's see. And yeah, and we now have an example of of one thing that you might want to do on a program with uh, with buttons and and their listeners. So yeah, you might you probably might not want to do this in the program, but yeah, this is an example of how to you know how to mess around. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah.